stream beans and potatoes, I did. Cabbage, I did. No, 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 no. What's up, Brian H. It's your boy Deshant. I, today I am back with another lit video, and I should have posted this a long time ago, but this is just a video of my Thanksgiving from last year, 2020. It is February. It's not even February, my bad. It's March. This is March 2nd, 2021. But this is the last time y'all gonna see me on this crappy phone with this bad quality. Got a better phone with a better camera. And also, this year, it's just gonna be... I'm gonna be dedicated. Be doing YouTube more often. Y'all gonna see more videos, more lit videos, more content. Better and better and better. This 2021 is just gonna be Brian Nation 2021. Let's get into the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah. First, I put the can, I got, open up the can, or you can, if you can also chop up some yams and cut it and, and put it, some sweet potatoes, I mean, you can cut up some sweet potatoes and put it up, and put it in the pan first. Then you get the brown sugar, you put the brown sugar all over the, um, yams, not too much, just enough for you. However you want it to taste, you cook it to satisfy you. You make it how, put enough to satisfy you. So I put some brown sugar. After I put the yams, I put the brown sugar. Then I put some regular sugar, as you can see. Then I put the marshmallows. This is not enough marshmallows. You can always put as much marshmallows as you want. Again, cook to satisfy you. Now for the baked macaroni. Get a lot of you can get a lot of noodles. It could be different boxes of different type of noodles. You can do a mixture. And then after you boil the bait and the noodles, you put you put it in this. After you boil it and stuff, you put it in the pan that you're gonna bake it in. Then you get. A, a pot, melt some um butter, I put eggs in there, and I put milk, then I put cheese, you could use several cheese, you could use plenty of cheese, learn how to use what you got, and then this, I use this too, this came out of a box, I also use some butter, eggs, milk, and other cheeses, and I'm melting it in there. Now I'm hoeing it, just a little, not too much, you can just pull it. See, it's too much water, but if that happens, it's okay. Just go ahead and dump a little bit of the water out, take it to the sink, dump it out. Now decide what kind of cheese you want to put on top as a layer. You could use shredded cheese or you could use the square pieces of cheese. I'm going to use both. Now what you want to do for, for your string peas is get string peas. Pull the string peas in there on for the first layer, pull the string beans in there. But make sure you get two cans of string beans. You can get one or two. 
get string beans, pour it in there on the bottom. Then you get some um, potatoes, sliced potatoes, put it in there just how that is. Or you can get the little whole potatoes and you can pour it in there. Then you get the str then you put a little bit more string beans on top. Then what you do, you want to get the salt. Put the salt up there. As you can see, I got salt. Just put it around it. Not too much. You don't want it too salty. Remember, have it taste. Have it how you want it to taste. Enough to satisfy you. Remember, make the taste satisfy you. And um, then you're going to get some black pepper and you're going to put it all over there like I did. Then you're going to go get some bacon, raw bacon, and cut it up. Now the bacon, once you got cut, cut pieces of bacon, then you put it on top. Now the bacon, what it's going to do is going to cook in the oven also. And it's going to, the juice from the oven will make, he will give the, um, the, the string beans a better taste. The juice from the oven will give the string beans a better taste, and then you're going to want to do this more often. And that's how you have the sweet potato. I mean, not sweet potatoes, string beans. Now, the collard greens. You get your collard greens, you put one in here. You get a... You get some, you get a bacon. You put the bacon, fry the bacon on a the pan. Then you get the grease from the bacon and you pour it all over here. Over there. Then you get that same pan and take off the bacon and put water and you move it around in circles to get the grease with the water. Then you pour it over the collard greens. Then you get some salt, put the salt all over it, not too much, just enough to, for the taste to satisfy you. Then you do black pepper. Get the black pepper, you put it all over it. Then you get butter, that's what's up there, butter. Then you get butter, chunks of butter, and you stir it up real good. And then finally, you put it in the oven. Jay, that Sean had. Oh, okay. You don't have to put no water in it. You're going to use the broth. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Okay, now take that um, broth that you took from the turkey and put that in there and fluff it up with it. Okay. You got it? Yes, ma'am, I got it. Okay, now shake your grave up and open it up and pour half of the gravy and just let the gravy sit on top of the uh, dressing. Okay. But before you put it, but before you get ready to put it in your bowl, just fluff it up some more. All right. Okay, and it's ready. Okay. Just read the directions on the Jiffy Mix box. Now for the glaze, I got a pan. What you do, you get a pan. I mean, you get a pot. You get butter, chunks of butter. Put it in the pot. However much you want, remember, enough to make the taste satisfy you. So you get the um, butter, then you get some, and then you get some cinnamon, some garlic powder, a little bit of sugar, coke, well honey coke, and, um, some, um, yeah, that's about it. Then you let it sit on the pot, let it boil. Then after that, you do a little bit more coke. 
a little bit more honey, a little bit um, more cinnamon, enough to make this taste satisfy you. Then you stir it all up. And then it's ready to go on the ham. And that's your glaze. Then you put it in the oven. Now you put it in the oven for just a little bit more. The salt and pepper. First you put salt, pepper, garlic powder. I put another season up. And then you put some extra season up there. And then you stuff it with um, some no, salary. No, no then you put this season up there. Steakhouse then you do the steakhouse season. Yeah. Then you put the butter up there. Yeah, then you put the butter up there. Then you stuff it no, with... No, you don't stuff it. Then you put oil. Then you put oil. Vegetable oil. Or any type of cooking oil. Yeah, you heard him. He he the one who started it and did it. And then you can stuff it with this. Um, Salary. Yeah. And now to make it juicy, what you do. You don't put chicken broth. Some people put chicken broth in it. But it makes its own broth. Make sure you put your seasoning stuff in the inside of your seasoning. Then what you do to make it juicy, it's a trick. Okay, for the banana, for the pudding, for the banana pudding, you're going to get butter first. Then after butter, you're going to get this, condensed milk. Then after the condensed milk, you can go ahead and put this in there. That's what I do. Then you're going to get a little bit of regular milk. And then some sugar. And then you're going to get... Then you last, you're going to add this. Last but not least, you're going to go ahead and do this. Layer it. Now, somebody brought, ordered some from me and wanted me to put it in this bowl. I usually put it in a big old pan but or big old tub but they wanted me to put it in the big old bowl put the cookies on the bottom put the bananas on top and then put the cookies on top and then put some more bananas on top can add a few more bananas or whatever. Now go ahead and pull the pudding. All over it. And that's, and then you put the cookies on top. And that's how you have southern banana pudding but the last thing you really need to do is co cover it with whatever top you're going to do and then put it in the f refrigerator so it can get cold and so the cookies and the stuffing oh y'all boy did it thanksgiving thanksgiving look at god y'all stuffing which my brother did yams I did macaroni cheese I did that's baked macaroni cheese y'all string beans and potatoes I did cabbage I did cornbread he did pumpkin pie sweet potato pie and um Banana pudding, I did that. I brought them two from the store. You just sweet with hit a pie was already cooked. All you had to do was heat it up. Pumpkin pie, the stuff was already pulled in there. All you had to do was cook it. Ham, I did the hams. Corn, I did the corn on the cob. Turkey, he did the turkey. All I did was cook, put it in the oven, and 
put um, two pieces of bacon on it to make it juicy. Then I took the bacon off. I should have took a picture of that, but yeah, that's what I did. And then this is all we got. And now it's time to eat. Happy Thanksgiving from the from Brian Nation. So I hope y'all enjoyed that video. And make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe, share, and keep the post turn the post notification on. And Jesus love you guys, and so do I. Peace out.